So Jake Paul is going to compete in MMA. It's a possibility. He's been training. There was some footage of him at Unbreakable. I've trained there before. Uh, Face Temper has trained there, um, I believe, when he was living at the Hollywood House uh, with the Face guys. Uh, they've known to have some fighters trained there and a lot of influencers and celebrities, actors, actresses, singers. Now, before we get into these kicks, let's talk about Jake Paul and MMA. This is not the first time this has been talked about. Yes, Logan has trained some MMA, grappling and rolling with Boachima. And there were some talks of Logan wanting to do a one fight deal with the UFC. Now it goes back even further than that, right? When originally, when KSI called out Jake and Logan, um, he wanted to originally fight Jake, but then Jake said boxing is not a real sport. And he said we should do a real fight and do MMA. No one cares about boxing. People would rather see us in an MMA fight. That is a real fight. It's an MMA match or it's nothing. So he had wanted to do uh, MMA from the beginning. Uh, when, especially when it came to this influencer fighting and influencer boxing, Jake uh, was team MMA from the beginning because him and his brother have a wrestling background and they definitely did train some MMA. I remember there was a while back when Logan had literally tackled somebody on Jake's team and put him in a nice rear naked choke. Little he's about to put him to sleep. And I remember saying, like, man, he knows what he's doing, right? And now, obviously, those type of tropes you can just learn here and there. Um, but years ago, I think uh, the story goes that GP had put Jake and Logan into some training, maybe when they were older, or encouraged them to. Maybe uh, GP had done some training himself. But since the boys had some wrestling, they had took, taken some jujitsu classes or some MMA classes. Regardless, they, it's not the first time, right? They already had some basic understanding of how to throw a punch and also how to throw some kicks, Right, and there's some footage that we have here of Jake Paul doing, had him doing like a like a fight, like a choreograph, look like a skit, so to speak, with AJ. Some people may think that Jake going into MMA or even Logan is just ridiculous, right? Because they're they're in the boxing world, so they seem like boxers. If they bring their experience, what little they have from wrestling or from their MMA training, if they want to make the switch over, they're going to be as prepared or more prepared than other professional boxers would. But I think they would surprise a lot of people, especially Jake. But let's take a look here. Jake did say on the post that it was his first day training kicks. Um, I know he didn't say it was his first time ever doing kicks at all, um, but I'm not sure if he made it seem that way. I was just having some fun on Instagram when I, re when I reacted to it. But it clearly wasn't his first day. He had done kicks before. When it comes to the influencer space, brand new means you've never done anything like this before. Some experience six months to a year even um, does make a big difference. So let's take a look at this video. Jake Paul sparring or fighting against AJ. All right, so let's watch his uh, his MMA fight here. So he's 20 years old here, so <clears throat> six feet, 204. But this has got to be like four years ago. He's 24 right now. Um, I looked him up on Wikipedia. His birthday is in uh, seven days, actually. Um, but so this is probably four years ago. And here's... Uh, um, roundhouse kick you see that there's the round kicks there's his beginner uh boxing skills but again this is four years ago so i think this is a skit i remember seeing this video when actually it probably was when it came out if it was four years ago but i remember thinking that it was fake um, but not knowing it seems like that they were throwing some real punches aj at this point i'm not sure of his um, pro career at this point uh in, in mma but i do know that uh, he competed in bellator i believe and side note aj was at the press conference for logan and uh, KSI and Deji and uh, Jake Paul. So let's see, Jake. So far, so good. It's hard to compare him. You know, who are you going to compare him to? You can't compare him to an MMA fighter. Try to throw a nice little uh, little roundhouse kick there. When, you, I, when I see other influencers, right, like TikTokers, Bryce Hall, and things like that, any, any influencer, right, they look so brand new. Jake and Logan clearly have a, have a good base. Look at him sprawl out. Again, the punches look really light, of course. The grappling looks pretty legit. It looks like there's a real struggle going on here. Drake's trying to survive on, on, on his back here. He's not moving his hips, though. I think it looks like he's trying to wrap his feet around and push him off. You can do that if you're super flexible. But AJ with his smaller stature and Jake's longer legs, that's going to be a hard thing to do there. Maybe they should rematch this. That would be interesting. A rematch between Jake Paul and AJ. Jake would get submitted. 
quickly. All in all, for what it's worth, clearly, I would I, I think that was a skit. It was some sort of a mess around. I don't know if the sparring, how real it was or what they had talked about beforehand. Um, but again, Jake's turning 25. This is when he was 20 years old. There is some legitimacy to it now because the PFL MMA CEO uh, made a statement entertaining the idea of Jake Paul competing. I think they would be interested in signing him maybe for a fight or a special type of fight. Um, it would be smart for a company like uh, PFL. We were just had a, talking about fight organizations and, and other organizations trying to compete with the UFC. So obviously Jake would go with the UFC, I would think, if they gave him an opportunity. He's been you know going back and forth with Dana. But you know people might be upset with a company like Bellator or PFL signing, but it would be a tremendous amount of eyeballs to a company like PFL or Bellator, but it's an opportunity for them to put on their fighters as well. Let's say Bellator may say, we'll bring Jake on, but not necessarily like we're going to help build Jake, but if you have him on there, it's going to bring a tremendous amount of eyeballs. The UFC has done that with James Tony, right? Brock Lesnar, um, CM Punk. They've brought in other people from other sports, uh, you know, WWE wrestling uh, over uh, to the UFC or MMA uh, to compete. And they're, when they're big names, and they've fought not top-tiered competition. This is not the first time this has happened to help promote the brand. Jake is not even competing at that level with, in boxing yet, right? So that's the other part that is very tricky, right? That's the part that, that immediately jumped out to me that I thought was super ironic and funny, and some people are talking about it. But up until this point, when Jake said he wanted to do boxing, it was not against boxers, right? He started out against influencers. Now he says he wants to do MMA. But there aren't really other people doing MMA in terms of celebrity stuff. I competed as an amateur in MMA. There might be some other people out there. But I wasn't like I was trying to call out influencers or doing a part of a, a YouTube or influencer community-based MMA fight type. Who would that be against? Maybe his first MMA fight would be against a professional boxer. You know, because he has not taken on a professional boxer in the boxing ring. Tommy Fury would have been the first. So he, he is heading that direction, which is good. So I'm not knocking him for that. He's heading in that direction. But if he makes a crossover to MMA, I'm not sure how he starts. But I think Logan or Jake, just the idea of them competing in MMA alone, I don't think he would need a dance partner in terms of the promotion and stuff. I think just him taking the risk of doing MMA uh, on a big enough platform like the UFC, Bellator, uh, maybe in PFL, something like that, one championship, things of that nature would be big enough uh, for people to, to go see, regardless of who his opponent is. And we'll see where this journey goes. Leave a like and subscribe. Oos.